this is VBS Office, and today I will be showing you how to build cross-platform applications with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So, let's get started. So, the JavaScript library that we're going to use is called Neutralino.js. So, let's go to their website neutralino.js okay and here we go this is their website so let's go get started and your first neutralino.js app so here we need to first install their CLI so let's do that If you are on Ubuntu like me, you will require the need of sudo. So it should be sudo install. See, I have this error. So I should do sudo. Let's try that. See, I already installed it, so it shouldn't really change. But, yep, it finished. Okay, so we don't need this anymore. Let's, okay, let's pull up our directory. I'm going to create in this just Neutralino test folder. So let's do this. Um, we can do terminal. Okay, I'm going to do a VS Code terminal. Let's make this a bit bigger. There you go. Let's go. So now we need to just check the version of the Neutralino CLI to see if we actually installed it. And yes, it is. Okay. So you can see the nice neutrally on JS ASCII art. So now, so let's init an application. Let's go N E U init. Oh, oops! How did I do this? Uh, oh, my mistake. N E U create. Create. Okay, I keep messing this up. Um, we need a name. Let's go N E U test YouTube. Okay, and now it is just downloading a quick file. Okay, so here we go. We now have our Neutralino test inside this ugly folder. So I'm actually going to copy all this stuff outside, so we don't have to deal with that ugly folder. So let's do that. Perfect. So now we can just delete this folder. Now we're left here. So let's let's try booting this up. Go to here and go N E U run. Hopefully I get this right. Yep, there we go. And it opens up the web inspector, and here we have a window. Neutralino JS. JS dot Neutralino sample running on port 43639 inside of Linux. Okay, perfect. Let's close that. And let's make some configurations. Number one is we're going to turn off inspect. So to do this, pull up the Neutralino dot config dot JSON and go over here um, in, in the JSON. Look for, in the windows, look for enable inspector. Here it is. Change this to false. So, let's do it again. There we go. So, now you can actually see in the corner there's this. This will be on Windows and Linux. This is called a tray icon. But, for me, I think it looks ugly. So, we'll get rid of this in just a minute. So... I'm going to change a couple of things here. Um, like, so if I run this, it has this really horrendous title. So I'm going to replace that. Um, over here in window title, let's go Neutralino Sample for YouTube. There we go. 
Now if we run that again, we should get that instead. There we go. So let's try customizing this. Open up the resources, and here we go. We have our HTML, our CSS, and our icons for our app and tray icon, and our JavaScript, which is just the main JavaScript and the CLI for Neutralino. So we're going to leave the Neutralino CLI the way it is. It's called Neutralino.js. Leave that. Don't touch anything in there. But we're going to go into this main.js. We're just going to scroll down to on ready over here. We're just going to remove this completely. Okay. And we're actually going to remove this too. There we go. I think... Uh, I don't know if I'll need that. Okay. I want to see if I can get rid of this. Show info. What does that do? Okay, so let's actually get rid of show info too because we're not going to use the pre-made HTML. Just get rid of that. Also get rid of open docs and tutorial. Uh, we also just don't need on tray menu item clicked or set tray. So let's get rid of that. Okay. Now we're going to try again, and there we go. The tray's gone, ugly tray, and it, this time it doesn't show the data. So now we're ready to go into our index.html and start editing some stuff. So for me, I want to have my app have a really nice looking feel to it. So I'm going to be using Bootstrap to make this. Let's get started. I don't know if Neutralino can do CDN, but we'll see. Okay. Perfect. This is not bootstrap, and you can tell from the text that the links have changed. Now, actually, I made a mistake. We need the show info. So we're going to go back a bit. So, back. Okay, so we do need show info, but we don't need everything else. So get rid of open docs, tutorial, set tray, not tray, video item clicked. Because I do want to use the original info here. And I'm actually going to go further to where it shows the info. But now we need to get rid of this and this. So I made a big mistake, but just make sure you don't do that when you do yours. There we go. And now, we'll again see that info. So now, um, we're going to open back up our web inspector just temporarily. Because we're going to need to debug some things. Okay, so let's start with just changing around our HTML. First things first, when you put in your HTML, make sure it's in the Neutralino app. So make sure it's in this div. So now we can take out the title and the info. We also don't need these buttons. Basically, take out everything inside Neutralino app. We're going to customize this. We're going to go h1 Neutralino J Neutralino JS test. Keep now. Let's start with some bootstrap components. I'm, I'm going to do a modal here to just display the information. And let's go up. Where is it? Ah, here it is. I'm just going to copy this code. And basically. Um, according to over here, info. All our stuff needs to be inside of a div. So we're just going to edit this. 
info. Here we go. App info. Okay. Launch app info. Here we go. Body, we're just going to make a div. Um, here's a shortcut for creating divs in VS Code, by the way. You put a hashtag and then name your div, which in our case is info. So basically, I just have to type hashtag info, press enter, and it creates a div with the ID of info right over there. And we don't actually need to put anything in there because neutrally it would do that for us. Here we go. Neutralino test. I'm actually going to edit a couple of things. That's it. Okay, this is just kind of annoying. The text is super small. So, oh, that's why. So, I'm going to get rid of the this H1 here and this div. These sty oops. These styles we do not need. Let's try it again. Okay, here we go. Neutral energy is test. Now it's nice and big. You can resize it, full screen it, launch app info. It opens up a modal here. Oh, let's go to that scene changes. Okay. Now let's go ahead. Let's see. What else can we add to our HTML? So at this point, I'm just doing some sample stuff. You can do whatever you want. You don't even need Bootstrap. That's just optional. But I like to add bootstrap in my apps because it makes it look nice. Okay. Um, I'm just going to set some quick CSS. I'm going to go color black. Um, there we go. And... Let's go ahead and set the background. So let's go body. Background color yellow. I think I'm going to go for a nice yellow orange. It's not a thing. Okay. Let's look at some colors. HTML color picker. Yeah, I like I like this. I like this. It read my mind. That's crazy. Okay. So now it's all configured. Let's go new run. And there we go. Neutral and test launch app info. And of course this doesn't fit. So I need to change that button to here, Bootstrap actually has a lot of buttons. Button styles we can choose from. So let's go BTM. There we go. These are all the buttons we can do. I think that warning will go west best. So let's go to our button. Button, button, warning. I'll just run that. There we go. I like that. I think. I think that's good. So, what's nice about this is that after we're done, what, well, I mean, if we're actually going to distribute this out, we don't really want the person running new run, right? That's kind of ridiculous. So, if we actually type new build, it's going to build our app into natives for HTML, CSS, no, 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 sorry, natives for Mac OS, Linux, and Windows. So let's open up the disk directory, which is where we built it, open up this, and we just have to open our version. I'm on Linux x64, so I'm just going to open that. There you go. There, this is my app, and yeah. So I'm actually going to change my icon, and I think it's only fitting to do a VBS Office logo. So I'm going to go ahead and download um, my thumbnail. So it's important that when you download it, it has to be the same name as the old icon. So uh, I'm just going to... 
Okay, I'm stuck here. I can't change it, so I'm sure I had to change the name, but for you, just for simplicity, just do it for the same name, but I'm not going to. So, here, let's do this. Go to neutralion.config.json. Now, scroll down. No, wait. Where is it? There it is, in the window, icon. So, let's go into resources, icons. I'm going to go on named dot jpeg launch that let's try that again x64 oh i got the path wrong or sorry i got the name wrong uh, and try that again because i can't get this right Okay, before I build it, I just want to test this. So I need to new run this. And it still doesn't show the icon. That's weird. I bet it has to be a PNG. Here, let me just quickly convert it. So, and once again, I'm actually going to leave this back to where it was because I think I made best with it. Leave it back to app, app icon. Um... Upload my files. Uh, there it is. Oh. I don't want to zip. I want the picture. There we go. Let's rename this to the same name as it used to be. Which is appicon.png. Move to code projects. Make sure there are no tests. Resources, icons, and there it is. So, let me try it again. Still nothing. Oh, I have to save this. There we go. Not to VBS Office logo. Perfect. So, let's build it. And... There we go. And here we are, Linux X64. And there we go. I think that about wraps it up for this video. Um, so, well, I'm not actually going to. Before we go, i just like to apologize for the massive spacing between all of the videos. That's just because I have this massive coding project going on here. I'm going to minimize that. And it's probably my biggest project yet, so I've just been super busy. But, I'm, anyways, I'm VBS Office, and I'll see you next time. Bye.